Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about Addison's disease, also known as primary hypoadrenalism. So to understand Addison's disease, I should first just talk about um, the adrenal gland. It comprises of an outer cortex. It is at the outer cortex where steroids are produced, cortisol, aldosterone and androgen. So in Addison's disease, there's this, the destruction of the entire adrenal cortex. And so you have the loss of these good things, the cortisol, aldosterone, and androgen production. So that's what's happening in Addison's disease. You've got the destruction of the entire adrenal cortex and the loss of cortisol, aldosterone, and androgen production. So what's causing this? In majority of cases, 90%, the destruction is caused by organ-specific autoantibodies. This is associated with other autoimmune conditions so in these patients, look out for autoimmune thyroid disease, type 1 diabetes, pernicious anemia, and ovarian failure. There are other rarer causes, such as hemorrhage, malignant infiltration, and tuberculosis of the adrenal gland. So those are the causes. So what are the clinical features? What are these patients going to present with? Unfortunately, Addison's disease is a difficult diagnosis to make early on, largely because of the non-specific symptoms that they can present with, such as lethargy, depression, anorexia, and weight loss. A few things to look out for are postural hypertension. This occurs because normally, aldosterone acts at the kidneys for salt and water retention. So without this aldosterone, you have a loss of salt and water, and so as a result, you have postural hypertension which in case, if you don't know, is a fall in blood pressure on a change in posture from lying to standing. There may be hyperpigmentation. This is caused by excess ACTH in the body system. ACTH, this excess ACTH stimulates melanocyte action. The reason for the excess ACTH is because you no longer have cortisol, and cortisol normally suppresses the production of ACTH. So without cortisol, you have more ACTH being produced. So it's as simple as that. With um, the hyperpigmentation, it's primarily, primarily, primarily at pressure points, skin creases, recent scars, and at the buccal mucosa. So look out for these. Patients may suffer from vitiligo. And also in women, w women are dependent on the adrenal androgen production and so without this, they may have a loss of body hair. So these are some of the things to be aware of in Addison's disease. Something very much to be to know about is, Addis is the Addisonian crisis. So this requires urgent management. The patient will present with vomiting, abdominal pain, profound weakness, hypoglycemia, and they may, be, they may have hypervolemic shock. So be aware of the Addisonian crisis as it requires urgent management. So that's it, Addison's disease. So to summarise, um, in Addison's disease, you've got the destruction of the entire adrenal cortex, which normally produces cortisol, aldosterone and androgen. So you've got the loss of this, these being produced. The main cause is organ-specific autoantibodies, but you do have other rarer causes. Clinical features can be very vague, such as lethargy, depression, anorexia, and weight loss. A few other key things to look out for here, postural hypertension, hyperpigmentation, vitiligo, and the loss of body hair in women. Talked about why these can be caused. And very importantly, to be aware of the Addisonian crisis where a patient presents with the following. So I hope that was useful, and thank you for listening.